Hello guys, I hope you're doing well. If not, I've got such a big news for you guys, which will make you feel really, really, really good. So while many of you watching this video from India, Pakistan or Southeast Asia are asleep, Canada has made a really, really big announcement. And this announcement is actually the biggest announcement in the history of Canadian immigration. Canada has announced that it will invite 1.2 million immigrants in the next three years as permanent residents of Canada. In the past, you must have heard that Canada will invite 1 million immigrants, but now the target has been increased by 200,000 or 2 lakh people. So now it will invite 1.2 million immigrants starting 2021 until 2023. Okay, we'll talk about this in detail, but it's actually getting freezing cold out here. Today we saw the first snowfall of the season. So it's actually getting really, really cold. Let me go back home and then we will talk about this in detail. Don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. All right, inside the home, it is a lot warmer and a lot better. So, I've taken off my jacket, let's talk about the big news in detail. So, as I told you, that Canada will be inviting 1.2 million immigrants in the next three years. What is the breakup? How many uh, people will they invite in 2021, 2022 and 2023? In each year, we'll talk about that and also we'll talk about why do they actually need such big number of immigrants in their country despite the pandemic, the job crisis, and we'll also talk about how many people would be invited in different classes or different categories. So these 1.2 million people would be invited to Canada in three years, 2021, 22 and 23. In 2021, they would be inviting 401,000 people, which is 4,1,000 people. In 2022, they would increase that number by 10,000 and they would invite 411,000 people. In 2023, they would add 10,000 to the last year and they would invite 421,000 people as permanent residents here in Canada. And do you know that this target of more than 400,000 per year is the biggest number in the past 100 years. Canada has never invited such a big number of people in the past 100 years. So the question arises that why is Canada setting these immigration targets so high? Obviously, they know that the, their economy is at the least at the moment, it's at a very bad situation and it will only improve in the upcoming times. Everybody knows that millions of jobs were lost, but yes, in the upcoming times, they're hoping that the economy would revive. They know that the economic recession is a big problem, but this problem will last only for two, three years, right? But their bigger problem is their aging population. More than 18% of Canada's population is 65 years or older. And Canada has got one of the lowest birth rates in the world. So this is the major problem. Now talking of this year 2020, however, they have conducted regular draws and they have been inviting people, but people have not been able to land in Canada because of expiring COPRs, because of travel restrictions, and there have been delays in processing applications of spousal PRs in the uh, parents and grandparents uh, sponsorship applications. There have been several delays and that's the reason why they would not be able to meet their target of this year of 341 thousand people so that is the, one of the reasons why they're extending this target to next year they're increasing target for next year and the years to come by more than 50,000 so that the economy does not take a hit on the longer run immigrants contribute a lot to Canada's economy okay now the number that you hear 401,000 this year for 21,000 that year that is not the number of ITAs that would be issued in that particular year that number actually comprises of total number of immigrants that would be given the permanent residency in that particular year. So if there's a principal applicant, there would be his or her spouse, there would be children as well, they would invite their parents and grandparents. So it includes everything. So let's see the breakup of this big number of 401,000 and uh, you know, going further in 2021-22. What is the actual breakup? 
how many people from PNPs, how many people from uh, different uh, humanitarian backgrounds would actually receive the permanent residency. Okay, so this is the breakup of the big number 400, 1000 into smaller numbers and into different categories. This is where you should focus more. So they've mentioned here that the federal highest skilled would get 108500 number of nominations which includes the federal skilled workers, the federal skilled trade and also the CEC applications. Now at this stage we can do a comparison from the target that was declared earlier this year for 2021 it was only 91,800 but now it has been increased to 108500 which is a significant increase. Similarly in the case of provincial nominee program the number now is 80,800 while earlier it was only 67,800 so 13,000 more PNP nominations to be done now next year. Okay talking of the Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program now there would be 6,000 instead of 5,000 similarly for spouses partners and children there would be 80,000 and for parents and grandparents there would be 23,500 that's their target. And similarly going forward in the next years 2022 and 2023 they will increase all of these numbers by 2000 2500 or 3000 also many people ask me that is the express entry program going to end in 2021 2022 so i hope that this big announcement has made it very clear that express entry program is also going to stay here for long it is a merit-based system and is being appreciated by many countries like US, UK. They are also going to adapt this similar program in the upcoming future. Now let me give you a very straightforward advice. Canada may have set this immigration target for 2022-2023 but if you were willing to apply and if you were willing to immigrate to Canada in the upcoming months that should not stop you. You should not become complacent that okay uh, in 2022 there are more people uh, which, who will be invited or 2023 there will be more people who will be invited so we'll think about it later maybe next year things are getting difficult every passing year you need to understand that fact as well you must be aware about the fact that the competition is increasing every passing day and your age is also increasing every passing year when your age increases your points get decreased so your chances of immigrating to Canada would be decreased if you apply maybe after six months maybe after one year so if you're actually willing to apply you should apply right away you should not waste any more time if you apply right now you'll get the PR in let's say one year's time and then maybe in 2022 early 2022 or late 2021 you can think of actually immigrating to Canada so that's my advice to all of you guys I think this video has been long enough I don't want to extend it any further so thank you guys for watching this video if you like the content please click the thumbs up button if you have any queries, any comments or any feedback, please put them down in the comment section below. And yes, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please click the subscribe button before moving to the next video. Thanks again for watching this video.